Let's have a closer look at binary semaphores implemented within FreeRTOS using CMC's OS V2. Let's do some practice. We will prepare an example where task 2 is waiting for semaphore being on blocked state for maximum 4 seconds and task 1 is releasing the semaphore within its time slot, each 2 seconds. In next part of this example we will add an external interrupt which could release the semaphore in asynchronous mode on each button press. Let's start from STM32CubeMX or STM32Cube IDE operations. We can reuse any of existing examples. Within FreeRTOS configuration, please go to Tasks and Queues tab. By click on Add button, please add two tasks. Task 1 with entry function Start Task 1 and Task 2 with entry function Start Task 2. Set the same priority for both of them to OS Priority Normal and set the same stack size to 256. We will need an external interrupt in our example. So we need to configure PC13 as GPIO XT13 within pinout configuration. Assuming that uh, our blue button on Nucleo board is uh, connected to PC13 pin. We can specify the label on this pin, but it is not necessary. Then within NVIC configuration we need to enable XT line 15 to 10 interrupts and select it within column uses free RTOS functions. In this case we would be able to release semaphore from external interrupt callback. Let's come back to our free RTOS configuration. Please select time as L semaphores tab, click on add within binary semaphores section and create a new semaphore. Its name can be my binary sem01. The rest we can keep in default state. Then press OK button. Now you should see this new semaphore within binary semaphores list. After these operations please generate the project and open main.c file. In main.c file we can notice new handlers within the private variables. So there are two handlers for the tasks, task1 handle and task2 handle and as well there is a handler to our binary semaphore. Then within main.c function after hardware initialization we can see the semaphore creation process. So at the beginning there is a set of attributes, in this case only the name. And then in the second line uh, using OS semaphore new there is a creation of a new binary semaphore. First code modification we will do within start task1 function. We will start with OS delay function to send our task1 to blocked state for 2 seconds. Then after its return to run state, we will send 1 over SWO using task underscore action function. After this we will release the semaphore. Next step is an implementation of task2 entry function. Within start task2 function we will wait for semaphore for maximum 4 seconds using OS semaphore acquire function. After this task2 will be sent to blocked state till semaphore will be given or 4 seconds timeout will elapse. After this, being in run mode again, task2 will send 2 over SWO interface using task underscore action function. Please notice that uh, this task action would be executed either in the situation the semaphore has been given to our task or the timeout will elapse. So in such a case uh, it is always uh, better to check the return value of this OS semaphore acquire function and check whether the value is positive or negative. Please remember that the positive value in our case 0 means that the function has been executed successfully while any negative value means that there was an error in the code execution and one of those errors is a OS error timeout which means that the semaphore has not been given within the maximum timeout specified in the function. Let's release our semaphore from external interrupt callback. Within HAL GPIO XT callback, please send an exclamation mark over SWO interface using task underscore action function. Then please release semaphore. Each press on the blue button will repeat those actions. After this, please compile the code, start a debug session, open SWV ITM console and start an application. Here is our expected result. Let's focus on the selected area. What is happening there? 2 means that uh, there was a binary semaphore, so task 2 was unblocked. Then IRQ was triggered, releasing semaphore once again, so task 2 can take it from the next time. 
task two was blocked as semaphore is binary and cannot be given more times. After task two took semaphore, it could be given once again by task one and then taken again by task two. Thank you for watching this video.